So we have two systems on the map. Obviously, that's the one that we're going to focus in on because it's uh, going to become our Sunday storm. And now that it is over land, we've been talking about this, why it's important uh, when these systems come over land versus when they're still over the over the ocean. And the reason for that has to do uh, with weather observations, right? We get pressure data, temperatures, humidity that all gets fed into the models that we rely heavily upon and with more information that model output becomes just a little bit more accurate. Oftentimes when we look at uh, forecasts for a storm system like this one that is projected to be off to our coast, when it's forecast to be three days out, there can be a significant amount of error up to 75 miles. And when you're talking about, let's just take the state of Rhode Island. I know we're, we're interested in eastern Connecticut and southeastern Mass as well, but you know that's roughly uh, the grid area of our forecast area from eastern Connecticut through eastern Mass, a 75 mile error three days out. Now we are still about four days away from this event. So, you know, we've been talking about forecast potential error on these models that can be significant when you're five days out of, of several hundred miles. So that's why now that we're getting closer to the forecast, we're seeing a little bit better data. The timing on this is locking in very early Sunday through very late Sunday. There's still the potential though, that as this storm tracks near our coastline, Emily and Dan, that we're going to see some degree of mixing with some rain along parts of our coastline areas that stay all snow. We're going to need the plows and the shovels quite a bit. We could see a half foot or more snowfall in those spots. So I'll 